as we all know, Disney has been coming out with remakes of their animated films constantly. They even came out with three this year alone, with the most recent one being The Lion King, which is what I will talk about here. The original Lion King is not just one of my favorite Disney films, it's one of the best movies I've ever seen. I love it quite a lot. When it was announced back in 2016 that they would be making a Lion King remake, I rolled my eyes like, really? Why would they want to remake such a perfect film? Well, I'm pretty sure we all know the answer to that. Anyway, before I actually start talking about the film, I just want to point out that even though I tend to criticize Disney a lot, I'm still a huge fan of this company. I'm just hard on them at times because I know they can do great things. I haven't been entirely happy with their recent works like Nutcracker, Mary Poppins Returns, or Ralph Breaks the Internet. And especially when it comes to their remakes, it feels like they're only made for a quick buck. But I still continue to support Disney. I just don't mindlessly praise everything they do like people accuse me of doing for whatever reason. Why am I pointing this out? Because these next things I'm about to say aren't exactly nice. But first, I'll just start by saying the only thing I liked about this film, and that was the visuals. Not because it was colorful or charming, because it really wasn't, and I'll get to that later, but it's because of the realism. All of the scenery looks very detailed. Even though there are some moments where the CGI becomes obvious, it still looks very realistic for the most part. One of the first scenes is a mouse running around, and I felt they were showing off at that point because it genuinely looked way too real. I was honestly impressed just by that moment alone. It's a shame that visuals this good had to be wasted on a movie like this. This is one of the worst Disney films I've seen in my entire life. If you're gonna remake a film, you have to at least justify its existence. This movie doesn't do that. It's just a shot for shot rehash of the original. Same songs, same lines of dialogue, even same shots, it's genuinely insulting how much this movie is trying to be exactly like the original. It makes me wonder why this movie was ever made. There were absolutely no surprises because you know exactly what is going to happen. The worst thing a remake can do is not bring anything new to the table. I really liked The Jungle Book because it managed to take the original story and put its own twist on it, making it feel different. The sad thing is, this was also directed by Jon Favreau. Even all of the other Disney remakes, despite being bad, had something new to tell. Beard and the Beast, terrible movie, but at least it went into more depth about Belle's mother, something the original didn't do. Aladdin, despite being an awful movie, did a lot of things differently like giving Jasmine more character and putting Genie in a relationship. Things the original didn't do. The Lion King does nothing like that. It's like it acknowledges that the original is perfect and doesn't want to do anything too differently. But if that's the case, why did they decide to make this movie in the first place? I can't exactly praise this movie for its story because it's already been done before and done much better. Everything that happened felt like it was only put in there just to please the fans of the original. Almost as if they had a checklist in front of them. Circle of Life, check. Simba and Nala being groomed, check. Timon and Pumbaa chasing birds, check. Simba laying down and causing the dust to spell out the word sex. Actually, that's not in the film. What they do replace it with is even dumber, and I'll get to that. The entire movie was the equivalent to copying off of someone's homework and only making slight changes to it. The writing is already done for them. The characters' personalities and motivations are already there. All this movie does is make it look realistic. Was it worth it? I'm sure for Disney it was because it's gonna make billions of dollars just because it has Lion King in the title. Yeah, it kind of bothers me that this movie will make more money than Far From Home and Toy Story 4. There are a few differences, but they're very minor and don't have much of an impact. Like in that depressing scene where Simba lies down and needs some time to think, part of his hair falls off and we see it travel a long distance to get to Rafiki. It goes on forever! I kept on wondering when that scene was going to end. There are other scenes like that as well. They sacrifice some character developing moments just so they can have more time to show off how realistic the scenery is. As far as songs and story go, they're the same, well, except for Be Prepared. I absolutely hated what they did with the song. It starts with Scar not really singing, but just reciting the lyrics. Then as it sounds like it's getting good, it just ends. It genuinely felt insulting. That was the best song in the original film and they barely even used it. That scene isn't even visually enjoyable. It's just Scar walking around on rocks. It's really boring. 
Pretty much all of the musical numbers are like that. Just Can't Wait to Be King is such an energized song in the original. Simba and Nala are hopping around and there's lots of color. But here, they're just simply running around which isn't very entertaining. Hakuna Matata is a very fun scene with Timon, Pumbaa, and Simba doing funny shenanigans. Here, they're just walking. What I'm trying to say is this movie lacks a lot of color and any charm that the original had. I know some people will say to not compare this to the original and to judge it as its own thing, but this movie wouldn't exist without the original, so I can't not compare the two. Plus, even as its own thing, it's still very dull and lifeless. It doesn't have any kind of emotion to it, especially when it comes to the facial expressions of the characters. They show absolutely no emotion in their faces. This makes it hard to care about them at all. You can take any single image from the original Lion King and it would have more emotion than anything in the new one. Just take a look at this image. It's easy to tell what these characters are feeling based on the looks on their faces. Then when you look at this, can you tell how they're feeling? Happy? Angry? Sad? I don't know, because that's the same expression they have on their faces throughout the entire film. This is even worse since the film is clearly trying to capture the same emotions as the original, like Mufasa's death for example, that scene that everyone can agree is sad and heartbreaking. How did they handle it in this one? Well, let's just say I laughed. Yep, the death of Mufasa actually made me laugh. It was so poorly done with how the characters look so bored during it. I was actually tempted to leave the theater at that point, but nope, just had to stay, just had to try to sit through, see if it got better, but it, it didn't, it, it didn't get better. And I know it is possible to animate a photorealistic animal and have it be expressive. Narnia did it with Aslan, and that movie came out 14 years ago. Even Jungle Book, again, also directed by Jon Favreau, they did a little bit, but it also didn't have to since the main focus was on the one human character in the film. So there was really no excuse for them not to do it here. Sometimes it doesn't even look like the voices are coming from the animals. Like Simba is sad about the death of his father and we hear it in his voice, but the face doesn't show it. <laughs> I, I don't even think I saw a tear rolling down his eye. <laughs> I, 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 I laughed. I, I laughed at that part. It was, it was bad. It was bad. Also, in the scenes with Simba and Nala interacting with each other, it's impossible to see the chemistry between them. If it weren't for the dialogue as well as the song Can You Feel the Love Tonight, we would have no way of knowing if they were in love. Even Anakin and Padme had more emotion. Speaking of which, the voice acting is atrocious. Every actor just sounds like they're saying lines without actually putting emotion into their voices. I couldn't listen to them speak without thinking of the actors recording their lines. Zazu is just a bird with John Oliver's voice. Timon and Pumbaa are just a meerkat and a warthog with the voices of Billy Agner and Seth Rogen, who, by the way, are painfully annoying in this. Although they do have the only funny joke in the movie. Even James Earl Jones who returned as Mufasa sounded very bored. Chiwetel Ejiofor as Scar just sounded so generic and lacked the sarcastic personality that Jeremy Irons has. Donald Glover really didn't fit the role of Simba at all. And Beyonce just cannot act at all. This is another example of someone being cast in a movie just for their popularity and not for their acting skills. Most of the voice actors just sounded like they were carefully reading off of a script, but it stood out the most with Beyonce. And of course, since Beyonce is in the movie, they have to give her her own solo. There's a new song that was written for the film, which is sung by, of course, Beyonce, but she's not singing it as Nala. It's sung in the background while Simba is running back to the Pride Lands. This cannot be any more out of place. It completely ruins the tone of the scene. It gives me serious A Wrinkle in Time vibes, although I'd rather watch that movie again than this one. Every actor is just being paid to say lines that were already said in the original. They're just there for a paycheck and then leave. It's like they didn't even try. Another thing that really disappointed me was how they handled Rafiki. They took out a lot of his humor. He's not as silly or funny here. They also took out his line about how you can either run from the past or learn from it. That was a great moment. But they cut it out for no reason. Certain scenes are very rushed and it ruins very impactful moments. It often felt like a fan-made project where they had very little time to create it and pretty much just half-assed the whole thing. I just don't understand why they wanted to take out everything that makes the movie great. It really doesn't understand why the original film was so special. I really don't know what's going on with this company right now. 
I find it extremely hard to believe that the same guy who made the Jungle Book went on and made this thing. But then again, it's no different from when he made Iron Man and then made Iron Man 2. In fact, it's pretty much the exact same situation. I honestly don't know what their goal was with this film other than making money. I mean, sure, when I saw it in the theater, there was applause, but that really doesn't mean anything considering Suicide Squad also got applause when I saw it. I'm almost positive the people in the theater during The Lion King haven't seen a movie before, and I'm DEFINITELY sure the people sitting next to me who were talking throughout the movie have never been in a theater before. Or if they have, then that's kinda sad. I'm looking at the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes right now and I'm just... wow. That's pretty high. But I can't say I'm surprised. As long as it's called The Lion King and has the same characters people grew up with, people will flock to the theaters to see it. The Little Mermaid remake has already gotten a lot of backlash just because they changed Ariel's skin color, even though it won't ruin the film at all. Yet people are willing to accept that they took the energy and charm out of the classic story. People are also upset about the absence of songs and Mushu in the live action Mulan even though those changes might not give the movie a disadvantage. I just don't get it. I genuinely don't get it. People praised the new Lion King for its visuals, but that's pretty much all this film has going for it. Even the visuals aren't as groundbreaking as people make them out to be. Yeah, they're impressive, but we already saw this in the Jungle Book, and it actually looked better there, especially when seeing a live-action human interacting with the world around him. I felt more realism there than in here. I'll admit, even though I wasn't excited for this film, I thought to myself that maybe it won't be that bad. And I was right, it wasn't that bad, it was worse! The Lion King remake is one of the worst movies I've seen this year. It's better than Dumbo, definitely, but not by much. I mean, at least the people in charge of visual effects put in some effort. Other than that, I didn't like anything about this film. My recommendation is that you stay as far away from it as possible. Just watch the original film again, the story is done a lot better there. This remake is just a waste of time and money, and I definitely didn't feel the love tonight for this one.